Th thanks very much, Elif. Um, let me just start by saying that I bring you the solidarity of my union. It's 1.4 million members, and also on behalf of the other 14 unions that are affiliated to the Freedom for Urgelan campaign. We stand 100% in solidarity with Rojava, the North East Autonomous Administration, and deplore and are utterly disgusted by the aggression, the barbarity that has been unleashed by the Turkish state and we're calling loud and clearly for the international community to do much, much more to stop the aggression. Anybody, anybody that has witnessed what is going on cannot be mistaken when they see that this is nothing other than an ISIS rescue mission that is taking place. The bombing of the camps in order to release ISIS prisoners, the br brutality and vile attacks that are going on on civilians, and most of all the disgusting footage that is circulating and the way in which the jihadis and their Turkish backed allies are dealing with some of the captured YPJ people. The world owes a debt to the fighters of the YPG, the YPJ, the SDF, in its fight against the fascism of ISIS. And frankly, the way they have been left alone to stand and face Turkish aggression on their own is nothing other than a disgrace. A few weeks ago, we had a huge demonstration. Many of you were surely on it. Thousands and thousands of us marched. I know we've not got the numbers today, but don't be dispirited. There is a lot going on at the moment, and we know particularly here, there's a general election going on. It's absolutely vital that all of us carry on demonstrating and we carry on fighting. And it is absolutely essential that we work to get a Labour government that will stand side by side with the people in Rojava and that we redouble our efforts. Colleagues, don't be afraid. I know many, many people say the only friends the Kurds have got are the mountains. It's not true. You've got a massive amount of international support. We've got to keep building it. It's not enough, but I'm absolutely sure if we stand together, like in many of our darkest times and darkest hours, We'll get through this. We need to redouble our efforts for solidarity, stand with the revolution in Rojava, and stand with all those that are paying such a high price. It's a privilege to be here with you and say a few words again. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Simon.